So you've added a file to the git staging index and you want to unstage that file. So how do you do it? Well, it's not hard. If all you want is the command, you just have to type in git restore dash dash stage and then the name of the file that you want to unstage. If that's all you wanted to know, you don't want to see me do that through a little example. Well, there you go. That's the command. Like this video, subscribe. When you speak about me, say nice things. But if you want to actually see me use this command, stick around. And, and maybe you should, because there's actually a couple of caveats that go along with this git restore command. One of which is the fact that you might not actually have access to this command if you're using an older version of Git. You see, this is a relatively new command. It's not that new, but it's relatively new. And it's designed to replace the old Git checkout command. The Git checkout command is like a Swiss army knife in Git, and it does way too many things. So they split up its functionality into two commands. One is Git restore, and the other one is Git switch. So if you don't have access to git restore, well, your other option is to use the git reset command. And then it's just git reset and then the name of the file to restore. Optionally, you can also use git rm dash dash cached and then the name of the file. But I don't like that rm command. It's a little dangerous. I never know what it's going to permanently remove and where it's going to remove files from. So git restore is definitely your best option. Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor in chief over at the serverside.com. I have to be one of the world's biggest git advocates. And I often get this question. How do you unstage a git commit? Which is why I've set up this little example that I want to show you right now. As I mentioned before, the proper way to unstage a file in Git is to use the git restore command. So I've got a little git repository here. It's got one file in it already. I think I've got one commit, git log one line. You can see that first commit's already happened. And I'm going to add a new file here. I'm going to call this file scrapbook.txt. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit alpha a b c so a little bit of a change there to that file do a git status command and you can see that well neither of those files have been added to the staging index even though one's modified and one is brand new so why don't we do that git add dot adds both of those to the staging index if you don't believe me git status tells me that they're both in there now let's imagine you just realize that that scrapbook file wasn't supposed to go into a commit. So you don't want that staged. How do you do it? Well, the proper way to unstage a file in Git is to use the git restore command and use it specifically with the staged flag and then provide the name of the file scrapbook.txt. Click enter. Then we'll do the good old git status command. And when we do the git status command, you can see that that scrapbook file is not in the staging index. If I was to do a git commit here, call that the second commit because the first one was the first commit. What we'd see is that the alpha.txt file would be included in the commit, but the scrapbook wouldn't. So for example, if I was to go back and say git status now, we'd see that well, the alpha.txt file has not changed since the last commit because it was just included in that commit we did, but that scrapbook file still remains there sitting on the file system. So there you go. That's the proper way to do a git commit. Now, there's actually a couple of other options. And um, whenever I go online and I take a look at uh, other tutorials that talk about unstaging a git file, they often use the git reset command. So I'm going to add a new file here. Why not? Just add a new text document and we'll call it bravo.txt and type in ABC there just to give us a, a little bit of an interesting git commit history. So I'll say git status. We've now got two files that are unstaged. I'll say git add dot to add both of those to the index. By the way, you can use git uh, add dash dash all to the dot command is just for the current directory and subdirectories. We'll say git status here. And it says, hey, both Bravo and scrapbook are going to be part of the next commit unless you make a change. And so a change is what I'm going to do. And in this case, I'm going to use the git reset command and the git reset command normally it manipulates your git commit 
history. So it's a little dangerous. I'm not a big fan of recommending it. In fact, it's not the right way to unstage a file in Git right now. You're supposed to use restore. But restore is a new method. So you might not have access to restore if you're using an older version of Git. And so you just say Git reset and then scrapbook.txt. I'll click enter there. I'll issue the Git status command and now we can see that with the git status command, well, it said that bravo.txt is still part of that staging index, but scrapbook.txt no longer is. And so if I go in here and do a git commit dash m and call this the third commit, clear the screen with control L and then do the good old git status command. Oh, did I do that wrong? Git commit dash M third commit. There we go. That is the commit that I wanted. Now, if I do the git status command, I must have typed something in wrong there. When I do the git status command, now it tells me that yes, indeed, um, the bravo.txt file was added to the previous commit, but that scrapbook.txt file has been left alone. So if you don't have access to that git restore command, as I said, git restore is replacing git checkout, git restore and git switch together. Um, if you don't have access to that, you can use git reset. Now, I also see some tutorials talking about git rm, and I find that dangerous because that might actually remove something from your repository. But let's take a look at this as well. So I'm gonna add a new file here called charl. I meant to type in Charlie, but I got it wrong. And we'll do git status, and you can see that both Charl and Scrapbook are not added to the index. So we'll do the git add dash dash all this time instead of the git add dot. And now when we do the git status command, we can see that, well, both of those files have been added to the git index. And which one do we want to keep? Well, we'll keep the Scrapbook file, um, and we will remove Charl. And so how do we do that? So one other option is this git rm command dash dash cached and then the name of the file to unstage. And in this case, the name of the file is scrapbook.txt. The rm command gets issued. Then we do the git status command. And we can see that indeed charl.txt is still part of the staging index. The file has still been staged, but we have unstaged scrapbook.txt. We have removed a file from the git index. And so finally, I guess, what do we do? Git commit dash M. What is that? The fourth commit. May the fourth be with you. And then we issue this good old git status command. And it tells us, yeah, we did that commit. Alpha, Bravo, and Charl are all part of my git commit history git log one line. Git log one line again, not sure what I did wrong there, but um, there we go, we can see those commits. So we do have a rich commit history, but if we do git status, we can see that that scrapbook.txt, it's never been added to the index and it's never been made part of a commit because we've never added it in there. And there you go. That is how easy it is to unstage a file in Git.